almost every week there's a news story about prostate cancer. And I think we have to balance two facts. I think the first fact is it's a hugely common disease that most men will develop if they live long enough and most men will not die from it. At the same time, 30,000 men die from prostate cancer every year. Until very recently, the most common treatment and only treatment for these men was androgen ablation or medical castration. And that's the treatment that's been around since the 1940s. So we really had nothing new to offer these men that we knew would die from their disease. That's changed a little bit in the last two years with several new treatments that have been approved. But I think if we look at the disease as a whole, um, it's very, very confusing. Should I know that I have prostate cancer? Should I bother being screened for prostate cancer? If I'm diagnosed with prostate cancer, should I have treatment? And how do I know if I have the disease that could be cured? And if I have the disease, can it be cured? I think these are questions that in some ways we struggled with before we had the PSA blood test. And I don't know if we've been able to answer these questions better because of the PSA uh, blood test. We've just diagnosed an awful lot more men that need help in answering these questions.